Hello and welcome to Tushka Training. Today we're back in Hit Film 2 Ultimate and we're starting out on our motion graphics series. Uh, we're going to be looking at growers, things that grow across the screen in various ways. Uh, you wouldn't normally be using Hit Film to do this sort of thing because it doesn't have any shape tools or paint tools. But I'll show you a quick and easy way to actually put some of these out uh, that could be useful to you if you need to do this sort of thing. First, we're going to create a new composite shot we'll call uh, Shot Container which I've actually spelt right for a change. I'll have to go out and celebrate tonight. Um, then we're going to create a new plane in this. We'll keep it white and we'll call this uh, grower uh, background. Okay, next thing we we'll do is going to shrink it down a little bit there like this. We're going to create a mask. Uh, we're just going to draw a point here and draw a point here. Pop one over this side. Connect them up so you've got kind of a, a pointy, pointy, kind of pointy. Um, and then we will select that and just kind of position it in the middle of the screen here, like so. Uh, next thing we'll do is going to open up the mask properties. We're going to keyframe the path, which is turn on the little button next to it so, it so it turns green. Move this over to about five seconds or so. Create a new keyframe, which is pressing this button up here. And then we're going to bring it back to the start. And we're going to use our freehand tool again. Select this point and just drag it over so it's off the screen like so. So now when we play it. We've got the pointy, pointy, point thing uh, growing across the screen like that, um, which is great if that's what you wanted. Uh, next thing we're going to do is we're going to go down. We're going to go to our warps and we're going to bring in a vortex. Actually, you know what? What we're going to do, because it, we need it later anyways, we're going to create a new grade. Um, we'll cr call this new grade um, shaping. Uh, the reason we need this later is because some of the tools we're going to use just don't work directly on the actual background. So it's better to just put them straight onto a grade uh, with everything else. Uh, now we'll call this curve one. Like so, we're going to click on our select tool, which I've already clicked on, but we'll click on that and we'll find this point here. So we'll bring this point across the screen. That's your vortex displace. Now when I press play, lo and behold, our pointer started to have a nice little curve. So we'll uh, bring the, the depth down slightly and bring the curve up slightly like so. Uh, this time we'll actually let it play all the way through. Now, now we've got it all the way through, we're going to bring in our next vortex displacement, um, which has gone down onto there. We don't want it on there, we want it on there. So we're going to rename this to curve two. Uh, we'll open up the settings for that. And we've got a nice little curve on the go there, like so. And then we'll we'll just duplicate this one actually. We'll duplicate this one. We'll call it curve three. Like so. And then we'll drag it over. And just place it where we want to place it. We'll go there. We'll mess with the settings for that one a little bit. Keeping in mind that I haven't even touched the uh, the angles here. You have got other angles you can do, so you can you can do other things like you can go very extreme like this. Um, you can go extreme here, or you can straighten it out a bit. Like this, you can do all kinds of things if you wanted to. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is one of the first things I like to do, just because it gives it a nice look, is to take a diffuse blur and add that on. Um, just bring up your opacity a little bit and your radius. Just gives it a nice little ethereal look. Um, and if you notice, the animation is actually following the curves perfectly because the animation is actually going through uh, the displacement warp as well. Um, I like to turn off all these reflects just in case we do anything extreme like that. I'm going to bring this uh, this radius back down a bit. 
just so we're a little bit less extreme. Now, another one that I've uh, found to be very good for this is uh, the magnify tool. So we'll bring the magnify tool just above the diffuse tool. Uh, the first thing we'll do is open its properties and we're going to turn off reflect like so and then we're going to turn the blend to normal like this um, and then we're going to bring the uh, bulge up quite a bit bring the radius up quite a bit uh, and you can get it to do some twisty things like this which I've got to say, I really do think that's a very nice effect. You can duplicate this as well, and it will actually do the same again. And you can start getting some really nice things going on. And as you can see, there's nothing GPU intensive about this either. So you can get some really nice looks, really, really nice looks like this. I mean, I've gone a little bit extreme there and gone off the screen, but I mean, some 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 effects this this will be perfect for. Um, again, there's there's other things that work quite well. I've found the um, insect vision to be quite a nice effect as well. Um, leaving it as default settings, it can be a little bit over the top, as you can see, but that might be a look that you're looking for. Um, but what you can do is start to bring some of the uh, things down, some of the sliders down, or up depending on them settings, um, and you'll start to see some really nice uh, textured kind of looks. Like so. Again, this is a pretty useful technique. It's worth going through a few more tools um, so you can actually see yourself uh, the sort of thing that, that does look very good. I'm going to turn a few of these off for now. Um, we can always turn them back on later and try try combinations of them. The twirl tends to be quite a nice tool as well. Um, the twirl, again, is something that can be uh, hand-moved and you can place it anywhere you want. So you can get some uh, crazy things going on with this. Uh, you can bring the radius up so it's it's doing all kinds of mad stuff and again you can click the magnifiers back on and have some real crazy things going on like I say you can mess with various different tools and this is all just the one particular shape I started out with um, which is really cool when you think about how easy it was to do this um, some animation tools you could be spending a lot of time to get this sort of thing going on and we've done it basically in a couple of minutes. It's took a little bit longer than usual simply because I've got to explain it while I'm doing it, but it looks great. You can do anything with the colors you want because it's based on that single plane. It's very fast because as I say, it's based on the single plane. There's, it's pretty much running in uh, real time. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Uh, you get a few ideas from it and I'll see you on the next one.